Hi everyone, we are from the Rhodes University Counseling Center and we hope that you are doing well. Um, we are here to talk about signs and symptoms of depression and suicide. Um, and before we really get into talking about the signs and symptoms of depression and suicide, uh, we really would like to extend compassion and empathy to everyone who has lost someone through suicide. We want to validate your emotional, mental and physical and behavioral responses to this loss and really emphasize that there is support available to you. We also would like to emphasize that we really are in no way problematizing anyone in the way that they have experienced loss through suicide. Um, essentially, it's important to note and understand that if someone is going to commit suicide, the chances of knowing that they're going to do it is quite slim. Um, so suicide is really essentially unpredictable. We really aren't encouraging an over-responsibility for others our intention is really to speak to possible warning signs of suicidality in applicable contexts, and we'll expand on these contexts as we move along. It's also important to understand that not everyone will present with the warning signs we speak about in the exact same way. So everyone is different and will manifest the signs differently, and also it's very important to consider context. We'll talk more about that just now. Okay. When we speak about warning signs and suicidality, um, there are different warning signs. Um, one warning sign could be if someone is really talking about death a lot and talking about wanting to die a lot. Um, extensive conversation about having no reason to live um, and that other people are really better off without them or without their existence um, is another warning sign expressing intense feelings, um, intense being an operative word, of emptiness, hopelessness, guilt, shame, or having no way out is a warning sign. Um, prolonged or sudden social withdrawal and isolation is a warning sign. And saying goodbye to friends and family and giving away personal items. Letter writing is also a warning sign as well. Another warning sign is accessing lethal means. Um, Lethal means, an uh, example of this could be purchasing a gun and really stocking up on pills um, as a means to commit suicide. Um, it is really important to consider that, you know, these warning signs that we speak of are in no way comprehensive or complete. Um, people are different, which means that they manifest distress in different ways. Um, it's really also important to consider the context of which these warning signs manifest. So, for example, if we take social withdrawal or isolation, um, social withdrawal isolation could speak to other distress. It doesn't mean if someone socially withdraws or isolates or if someone presents with feelings of guilt and shame that it immediately equates suicidality. It could speak to other things like anxiety or depression or other things as well. So considering the context is quite important. We will now move on to talking about depression. So in talking about the signs and symptoms of depression, it is necessary to um, differentiate between having a depressed mood and clinical depression. So a depressed mood is a very natural part of the human experience. Um, it is a situational kind of experience. So it's usually linked to a specific trigger. Um, this speaks to a low mood that does not necessarily interfere with daily functioning. So you know you're not feeling well, you're feeling a little bit low, but it doesn't interfere with daily functioning. This is also short term. Clinical depression is um, a depressed mood most of the day, nearly every day. So one would be feeling sad, empty, hopeless. Um, this speaks to a diminished pleasure or no interest in activities. Significant weight loss or gain in context could also speak to clinical depression. Um, insomnia or hypersomnia nearly every day. Psychomotor agitation or retardation. Loss of energy. Feelings of worthlessness or guilt. Diminished ability to think or concentrate. And like my colleague has already spoken about suicidality. So this is, um, yeah, these are the signs and symptoms of depression. Um, and we also earlier covered the signs and symptoms of um, suicidality. Thank you.